The HTC One was and still is one of the best Android phones on the market today, but maybe it's too big or too expensive for you. And that's why HTC announced the HTC One Mini. We're unboxing it right now. Let's go check it out. Yes, you've guessed it. This is the HTC One Mini and these are the obligatory scissors, this time scissors version 2.0. Since we have a hunch that the HTC One Mini and the HTC One have a lot in common, we strongly encourage you to check out the full review over at Pocket Now, and also subscribe to our social media channels to stay up to date. While we open up this package, we'll try to get into HTC's head for a bit and think of the reasons behind the HTC One Mini. It is an alternative to the HTC One flagship, which might be either too big or too expensive for some. And let's not forget, since the one directly competes with the Samsung Galaxy S4, the One Mini will continue the tradition and try to beat the Galaxy S4 Mini, which we also reviewed on Pocket Now. So here's the box, and it's a generic box, pre-production slash demo box. Your unboxing experience will definitely vary once you get this phone from your store or carrier. The contents of the box shouldn't be too different though, so let's dive in and see what's inside. There's the phone itself, which we'll place to the side just for a little bit and see what else is bundled. No literature, which is good, but there will be definitely some pros in the final retail packaging. There's a charger, this time with a European plug. There's also the obligatory USB cable for syncing and charging, and a pair of headphones. Apparently, these look similar to those bundled with the HTC One, and those sounded exceptionally well. We'll see if they're the same or not. There are also some different size gels for your in-ear canal drivers. There's no battery inside the box, as the pack is non-user replaceable. Enough of that, let's take a look at the phone itself. Sorry folks, no special screen protector peeling cam mode, as apparently the plastic on this phone is a sleeve-like plastic. However, here it is. This is the HTC One Mini. We can tell you straight from the beginning that this phone feels substantial. Like 122 grams substantial. Not heavy, but premium and that weight certainly adds to the experience generated by the cold to the touch aluminum. And, while we're here, let's take a look at the One Mini side by side with the One. It's this much shorter, 5.4 mm to be specific. In terms of thickness, they're the same. The back features the same aluminum construction, camera placement and all. Let's take a look around the device. On the top we have the main speakers with an LED notification tucked behind the speaker grill. To the left there's a 1.6 megapixel camera and to the right you've got your sensors. Below you'll find a 4.3 inch display with 720p resolution and a pixel density of 342. On the bottom there's the HTC logo which, just like in the One's case, is not a button with the back and home capacitive buttons on its side. Further down there's your secondary speaker which, together with the top one, is part of HTC's boom sound which will extensively compare to the one on the HTC One. The left sports the micro SIM card slot and nothing else. The top has the power button, which no longer doubles as an IR blaster. 3.5mm headphone jack, primary microphone on the bottom alongside with a USB port. Volume rockers on the right side, also slightly tweaked, different from the HTC One. The back has a secondary microphone, the 4 megapixel, air quotes, ultra pixel camera with flash, HTC logo, as well as Beats Audio cold out, no longer in color. Let's size it up against some other phones. We'll start with the HTC One and we'll add the Samsung Galaxy S4. This is the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom, but in terms of size it's about the same, at least the front, as the S4 Mini, the One Mini's direct competitor. This is how they compare, but there's no use to compare thickness since this is the Zoom. Adding more devices, Nokia Lumia 925, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the iPhone 5. Interestingly, the iPhone 5 is still smaller than the HTC One Mini. While we're booting up, let's recap the specs. The processor is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 CPU with two cores, clocked at 1.4 GHz, held by 1 GB of RAM. Internal storage is 16 GB, and the 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera alongside boom sound is also in. There's an 1800 mAh battery, which is non-user replaceable, LTE support, and the platform of choice is Android 4.2.2 with HTC Sense on top of it. Color options include silver, which is the unit we have here, and stealth black. 
everyone that's gonna do it for today for the HTC One Mini unboxing, but stay tuned to Pocket Now, we have a lot more coming, including comparisons and the full review. You can follow me on Facebook as well as on Twitter, and if you like this video, please give us the usual thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching, till next time.